What's up, it's Justin with the Mo Challenge, and I'm here with one of my favorite things in the entire world. My blend. I was asked recently, what is the difference between juicing versus blending the whole fruit and vegetable? And I'm going to tell you. There was a time when fruits and vegetables were actually what they were supposed to be. But over the process of time, people have crossbred certain types of fruits and that makes them sweeter and sweeter, bigger and bigger. So they're not really the same types that they used to be. Now with fruits, specifically like apples and mangoes, things like that have become pretty standard in our diets. Those things are super high in fructose. About a regular size apple has about 19 grams of sugar. Fructose, what's the difference between that and glucose? Glucose, your cells use. You can use it in every part of your body. Your body loves glucose. Your brain loves glucose. It goes to your cells, it goes to your liver, it's metabolized properly. But with fructose, the minute you eat it or drink it, it goes straight to your liver, doesn't hit your cells, and goes straight to fat. Your body uses it very little unless you're very active. If you're not and you just sit at a desk and do nothing, then it's going to turn to fat in the liver. And that's just like constant usage. American diet, most people actually don't use the fructose that they eat. It's not so much the fruit that's the problem, it's the absence of fiber. For instance, orange juice. One of my favorite things as I was growing up was apple juice and orange juice. Then I came to be an adult and I realized that, fun fact, it's not fresh squeeze. You remember that commercial with the straw that they would jam the straw into the orange until it would puncture it but it never could get it? Yeah, it's not like that at all. Basically what they do is they cook the orange juice or the apple juice. It's the process called pasteurization. Heat kills off the enzymes, the vitamins, the minerals, and then they take flavor tablets and they put it back in. So they remove it just to put it back in man-made style. Why is it that people don't juice their own things or blend their own? Well, partly because it's the, the smoothness of the texture of the juice, probably. That's my guess. If you've ever had apple juice as blended, it's kind of chunky and fibrous, whereas the nice, clean, clear stream of golden apple juice, it's more aesthetically pleasing. But that is chock full of sugar. The difference between the juice part and the fruit part is the fiber. I love talking about fiber because fiber is actually what feeds you gut. Enzymes, minerals, vitamins, they have to be bound to the fiber in order to work properly. So if you take out the fiber and leave only the sugar, you're gonna have a problem. That's why I completely go towards the blending route. You get everything. Fiber, minerals, vitamin content. So is there any way that you can juice and not gain weight? Sure. If you do a full juicing program, you're gonna go into what's called a calorie deficit. Deficit. So if you do nothing but juicing, of course you're going to go into what's called a calorie de deficit. Ugh. So if you do nothing but juicing, of course you're going to go into what's called a calorie deficit, which means you're just not taking in a lot of calories and all you're getting is the nutrition from the fruit. If all you're used to is taking in carbs and greasy fats, then it's better than nothing, really. But the idea is to get more nutrition in minerals and enzymes minus the sugar. Little sugars we can do the better because the insulin goes lower. If you're combining your fruits with fiber, the higher your fiber content, the lower you can get your sugar levels down in your blood. So to summarize, fruits are not your enemy. It's the fructose that's not being used that is the enemy. Once you have a fatty liver, you're gonna have to spend all your energy breaking that down before you start breaking down body fat. Fatty liver disease is very real. It used to be that alcoholics were the only ones that got fatty liver disease. Now kids get fatty liver disease. It's really sad. Actually, it's pretty okay to use a few for flavor, but just not in huge amounts if you're sedentary or you don't do any work with them. If you're gonna run a 5K, it's really good energy. If you're going to be sitting for five hours a day in front of a computer nonstop, probably not the best idea. So in order to help you, I've developed a program called the Mode Challenge, which is either a consultation or you can do it with the coaching plan. And that helps you to stabilize your blood sugar, lower your insulin, decrease inflammation, course eradicate high blood pressure. It's not a magic trick. It's exactly how it's supposed to work with food. Food is meant to heal. Do your own research. Google the things I talk about and see for yourself. Email me at justin at changeyourmode.com or visit my website. And I'd love to do a coaching and consultation with you in the near future.